Hello friends and family. It's been quite a while since we've talked to you. So we thought maybe we would do it outside before it gets too cold. So that way you could see a little bit of New Zealand. So sorry for our crazy hairdos and everything. Do what we can for you though. It's a better, better view. It is. This is uh, some of the cliffs in Dunedin. So if you're uh, wondering what the, the beach in Dunedin looks like, you're looking at it. So it's really pretty. And if you can see, there's a few surfers out there surfing, which is crazy because it is freezing cold. <laughs> All year round, the water is cold, but it's autumn, so. Yeah. And yeah, we're, we're having trouble staying dry and they're out there surfing, so Kiwis are crazy. <laughs> Anyways, we have a lot of cool things to share with you. Um, first of which is our Plains event. Uh, we held another community event and we showed the movie Plains. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's an animated Disney movie, but it was really, really good. Uh, we, we showed it to kind of target young families and uh, youth and, and kids in the community, and we had an incredible response. I think we had 30 visitors, uh, 20 members that came and helped out, and we had a, a planes competition after we watched the movie. Paper airplanes. Yeah, paper airplanes. So every, all the children got to build their own paper airplanes. and. The best was, part was there were 15 kids, yeah. just kids, with yeah. their parents. And the parents were so excited and we got such positive feedback from them. They're excited for us to put on another event so that they can come into our church building and spend yeah. time with us. So it really is an, an incredible way for members to get to, to interact with the community as well as uh, some of the community to get to come into the building and know that we're there and know who we are and know what we're about. So, so that was quite a blessing. Also, the building is undergoing earthquake strengthening, finally. This is really good news. All of the buildings in New Zealand, for the most part, have to go through earthquake strengthening now because of the most recent earthquakes in um, Christchurch and, and other areas throughout New Zealand. So in order to keep the buildings up to code, you have to strengthen the buildings. It costs quite a bit of money, but we have been blessed with a wonderful, wonderful engineer who is helping us out at an amazing price. Yep. Also, uh, with the changing of seasons, everybody's been getting sick, so Aaron <laughs> has been sick lately. And uh, I've gotten to take over uh, doing a lot of the teaching and preaching, which has been really good. So I've got to, uh, on Sunday one time, I was, I was uh, the Bible class teacher, the preacher, and then uh, Liam. Song leader? Yeah, no, Liam, oh, Liam helped right. me lead songs, so Aaron's yep. son. So uh, I, I felt like we did a pretty good job, me and Liam <laughs> did a pretty good job. So that was fun, uh, getting a lot of good teaching and preaching under my belt and, and uh, really learning how to do that and, and how to, uh, um, what my style is, I guess. So that's been a blessing. Uh, not that everybody's been getting sick though. That's that's been kind of <laughs> kind of bad. I think oh, all of us have been sick lately. at least once. So yeah. we hope with the changing of the seasons, you haven't been getting sick either. <laughs> also, speaking of Aaron, um, we really want to bring him forward to you all yeah. to begin praying about. Um, Aaron is the other missionary that we're here working with, and he is about to lose his support. Yeah. Uh, this is scary for us and for them. We have faith that God will provide uh, for what, what he needs, what his family needs, but this means that later on this year he's going to be coming to the states to start fundraising for support again. If you or anyone you know um, is aware of a church that is looking for a missionary to support, yeah. by all means message us, let us know, yeah. so that we can uh, share that news with Aaron. Yeah. No, uh, and, and keep that in your prayers because uh, they really are um, who we're here to, to come and to work with and, and things would change drastically if, if for some reason they, they couldn't stay. And so continue to keep them in your prayers and, and definitely let us know if you know of anybody or any churches that are looking to support a wonderful missionary, a wonderful Kiwi preacher and teacher that's, that's lived here for, for quite some time. Another thing that we've been up to lately is something called CEC, mm -hmm. and that is Church Education Commission. And in New Zealand, it's uh, incredible. We found this, this opportunity where uh, there's something called Bible in Schools, and they actually have people come into the schools, and for an hour a week, they shut down the school, and they make it a time when the kids can learn about the Bible. 
which is, it still blows my mind that in public school, uh, they're asking Christians to come in and teach about God to kids uh, because there, there's a lot of morality issues and things like that with the youth today. And so that is an incredible um, opportunity and blessing and Marissa and I are trying to take advantage of that. So uh, we've been doing some training and some, uh, some online courses and things so that way hopefully we can both get into schools in South of Eden and start interacting with these kids. And uh, it, it truly is an incredible opportunity. They also have a chaplaincy program uh, where they actually ask you to be a Christian presence on the uh, campus for a minimum of four hours a week. At least four hours a week is what they want. You to be there and to be a good Christian influence. And so it's truly God is working. He's doing a lot of cool things here in New Zealand. And so continue to pray for these organizations and us as we seek to plug into them and to, to get into the community and find people who are wanting to know more and, uh, and who are seeking and continue to pray that God prepares hearts and minds here in Dunedin. We love you all. <laughs> we do, and we miss you, and we hope to come and see you soon. So please continue to keep us in your prayers, and we think about you often. And if you get a chance, come and see us. As you can see, it's beautiful here. It's so worth the trip. It is. Yeah. So we love you. Bye-bye.